Are you someone who often feels like this? Why doesn't that work for me when it works for everyone else? Or are you feeling like a rebel because you are questioning like everything? every procedure, every decision, and you just can't accept the statement, oh, that's just the way it is. Are you the one asking, why should we do it like this? Couldn't we do it like that? And what else is possible? If just one answer is yes, then I say, welcome to the journey, the journey where you will go your way. And in this episode, I will tell you my story about a long journey and how a feeling called the basic trust has supported me on this journey like a very good and dear friend who would never leave my sight and how this basic trust is the catalyst to go your own way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again in your ear, Anna Jelen, your time expert. Someone who has just started this brainstorming and creative work month in Lapland. Now let me just explain how we live here. Short said, it's in nowhere and today it's bloody cold. It's minus 30 degrees, which means it's a lovely day. But I remember two years ago we were here and we had minus 43 degrees. So it's still, I mean, we could say a warm day. To get here, it takes us about two days of traveling. We have a few minutes away, only one neighbor, which feels calming somehow. And to get to the next village, we have to take the snow scooter and cross a river and a lake. But you would be mistaken if you think that we could make our purchases or the shopping there. No, for this, we have to drive about one hour by car. And the only thing is, we don't have a car. That means the shopping list had to be very well thought out. If you want to see some impressions, go to my YouTube channel and you can see them there. And here we are, spending long hours in the darkness, brainstorming and working all by ourselves, surrounded by elks and invisible animals, because I can feel them observing us all the time, which I think is kind of funny. I want to talk about two things today, about one of the strongest feelings I know, called the basic trust, and how it can lead you on your path. For this, I will tell you a story. And in the end, I will just conclude with a concept for work. Where work isn't the place you go, it's a thing you do. Because that is how the story starts. From young on, I felt this strong feeling at work that to work from 8 to 5, that wasn't really my reality. I didn't understand the meaning of this. Why, why couldn't I start working at six o'clock in the morning when I felt for it? And why did I have to wait until the time clock set five o'clock in the afternoon to go home? Why should we be treated like robots? And I thought there must be another way to work. It wasn't matching my work philosophy. Not that I had one. I just didn't like this one too much. I thought, there must be other possible ways, but I had no idea what or how. The first thing was just this feeling inside of me. Why doesn't that work for me when it works for everyone else? And the second thing was that I thought, well anyway, but one day I'm going to work different. But here as well. No idea about the how and when or whatever. I just knew that one day I'm not going to work from 8 to 5. Now this knowing has a name. I call this the basic trust. The trust in yourself or in something that you will get there. It's far more than just a belief. Because, as I said, in my case, it wasn't even a wish or a belief. No, I knew. I knew that I would get there. 
I knew that I can trust in myself to get there. And seriously, I don't know for sure where this strong basic trust comes from. But I have a notion that it has to do with my time philosophy. I have this big chance of a lifetime. So I'm going to live the life I would wish for myself. Do you know this feeling? The basic trust feeling? Where you just know that something is going to be as you are imagining it. That's the so-called basic trust. Now think about it. When did you have this feeling? Maybe you just knew that one day you will have a family. Or maybe you just knew that one day you will have a dog. This feeling is such a strong thing, don't you think? And I think it's very special and unique. Back to the way I worked as a young girl. Classic from 8 to 5. But you have to know one thing. The basic trust is so strong that it will guide you. In my case, I got a job opportunity to go and visit clients, which means to spend hours on the road, to travel, to plan the visits on my own, which meant I decided how to plan my work days. And I just knew how much revenue I have to bring each month to make the company happy. Often I had to get out of bed so early to avoid the traffic jams on the road and often I got home later than anyone else. But sometimes I could make a longer lunch and sometimes I was home earlier and was able to go for a ride with my best friend, a horse called Diablo. Just this was already so much better for me than the classic 8 to 5 job because it was me deciding how to do it the best way. The next thing that happened was not going in this direction. On the contrary, it made me miserable after a while and it felt like a big failure. But as I said, trust in the guidance of the basic trust. What happened was this. I had the chance to lead a huge project. I was excited about the project because I learned a lot. But I was back in the office from 7 to 5. Every day the same procedure. I felt like if I had taken one step backwards. Now look, if you have listened to all my episodes, maybe you are injected with a time virus, which means that you start to understand what I deeply want to tell the world, to use your time wisely. And for me, with the thought I don't know my end date. Having a 7 to 5 job and wasn't really happy with the job in general, I was miserable. And I thought, how much longer will I carry on like this? If you are in a miserable situation with your job right now, please ask yourself this one question. How much longer will I carry on like this? If it makes you feel heavy and bad, seek a solution, please. Even if it's just to talk to your boss. Tell him that you would like to change the current situation. And let's see how this discussion will end. If you both are open for some changes, then I'm sure it's going to be better than before. For me, I had this conversation. It was a bit different. It was when I said... Thank you for everything I had learned and goodbye. Off I went. With this new idea, which my basic trust had presented me on a silver tablet to start my own business. Well, thank you, basic trust, because I just did it. And as you know, with zero knowledge about it all. The only thing I knew was to continue to give workshops and speeches about the time we have. Again, it felt like a huge failure because it didn't work at all. But now, in my head, I started to have this vision on how I want to work. To be my own boss. 
to put the energy needed in the topic. No more meetings, just create and produce. Be somewhere, like in Lapland, work on the content, improve it and present it to the world and hopefully I could be able to help some people. But man, I was so far away from all this. And the worst case was, I didn't have a penny. Not even to pay my rent. And then, what happened? I was offered a job. A good one. With a lot of cash. I mean, the salary was huge. And everyone was sure, I'm going to take it. Do you know what happened? I called the guy and I said, Thank you, really, thank you so much. This is great and I'm so thankful for this opportunity. But thank you, I say no. And I remember when I hung up the phone, I was going like, what the bloody hell did I just do? I mean, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I hope this will turn out right. And after this decision, I knew that I'm really going to go my way. Maybe you are also having some kind of vision and maybe you are just somewhere on this path. And that is where I tell you, stay on it. Can you still feel this urge of something? Even if you can't name it? Or this inner strength, but you don't know what it is for? Then this is the basic trust. It's still there and that's good. You're on the way and the journey has already started. Let me tell you one thing that I believe. Many people say you have it or you don't have it. This urge to break out, to create something, to go a different way, to be a rebel. But I believe that everyone has it. But maybe there are many layers lying on it. So the question is, if you want to unload those layers or not. But this... This is your decision. And I just hope that the layers aren't too heavy. Too heavy for you or to unload them. Just another few words on how to keep the basic trust before I tell you about a work philosophy I truly believe in. Find a ritual which you can implement in your life as often as possible. It could be a work a walk in nature or just to sit somewhere, even if it is at home, where you can absorb your thoughts. Remember the episode, sit down and think? This could be a ritual to find out if your basic trust is still there. Sit down and just observe. Normally, in silence, the basic trust will show itself. It's an inner voice telling you what you believe is your reality. If it feels good, then there you go. It's there. And now trust in it that it will guide you. As long as you give your basic trust space, you will also have the endurance. It comes in one package. And I started to ask myself one question to keep me on my way, and that is the following one. Has this, what I'm doing right here now, anything to do with my vision of my life? Am I doing something to get me near this? So you might be asking me now, so in what kind of work style do you believe? I mean, it's actually also this thing why I left the system, why I became my own boss. I think that it's very important for each of us to find out which kind of environment you need to do a good job. That's the first thing. Then comes the value to listen to your inner clocks. When are your peak times in creativity? When should you brainstorm? When should you have a break? These kind of questions. Because if you can listen to your inner clocks at work, your results will be by far be better. And I strongly believe in a results-only workplace environment where it doesn't matter how or how long you work, the only thing that counts are the results. The results only workplace environments mantra goes like this. Work isn't a place you go, it's a thing you do. The whole concept is that the work 
is what dictates productivity, not the time clock. Take as little or as long as you need to get the work assigned to you done. Then do whatever you want with the rest of your time. And I can hear you already. Anna, you dreamer. I'm working at a huge company and if I would let my people work when their inner clocks tells them to work, I will have half of them disappearing. Well, I took contact with a guy, Sean, from Brand Strategist, who actually applied this concept for his company. And this is what he told me. My fear was that I would lose employees. And I was right. But it was okay. I only lost a couple. And the majority who stayed were my most productive and ended up flourishing and being even more productive than ever before with this work style. Now there you go. It's possible. Now this is really important for me. There is no right or wrong. There is no that's how it has to be. I don't believe in this and I think you shouldn't as well because there are plenty of realities. There are always plenty of other possible ways. And maybe you have an idea of an even another new way. Well, my dear listener out there, that's all for today. I truly hope you did enjoy this episode. And always remember, don't limit yourself because someone is telling you, well, that's just the way it is. That might not be right for you. Find your right. And with this, you will also feel the basic trust. And with this basic trust, you will be able to keep on going for the time what it takes. With ease and joy. And I'm wishing you all the best for this journey. Enjoy it. Bye. And by the way, Merry Christmas to all of you.